Let's face it, life isn't easy. If you're stuck in a bad relationship, betrayed or afraid of tomorrow, financially insecure or desperate for a breakthrough, you've come to the right place. Dr. Carmen Hara is a renowned psychologist, intuitive, relationship expert, and best-selling author, and she's here to give you the miracle guidance you need. Her new call-in show, Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life, offers profound wisdom, practical advice, daily exercises, and empowering predictions, all for you. Dr. Hara's show aims to eliminate everyday problems, big and small, with topics like healing your relationships, reclaiming your power, achieving better health, dealing with loss, and so much more. Regain the joy, stability, and fulfillment you deserve to feel. Tune in to Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life with host Dr. Carmen Hara, live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, and find the answers you've been looking for. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Miracle Guidance. I'm Carmen Hara, live every Tuesday evening, 7 p.m., right here on Home Time Radio. Tonight, uh, we'll talk about the power of your words. I'll show you how to release your fear from your own future and live up to your own potential with a 35 affirmation that will actually change your life. Now, Buddha once said that better than a thousand words, one word that brings peace is enough. You don't need to repeat many encouraging phrases about yourself, but just one, a few, a few mantras will bring you peace. Now, my opinion is that um, affirmation help purify your thoughts and restructure the dynamic of your brain. So you start to believe nothing is impossible. The, the word affirmation comes from the Latin affirmare, originally meaning to make steady, to straighten, to empower. Affirmation straighten you by helping you believe in the potential of an action you want to manifest. When you verbalize your dreams and ambitions, you're instantly empowered with a deep sense of reassurance that your wish uh, will become reality. So affirmation are proven methods of self-improvement because of your ability to rewire the brain. Much like exercise, they raise the level of feel-good hormones and push your brain to form new clusters of positive thoughts, neurons. In the sequence of uh, thought, speech, action, affirmation play a role by breaking pattern of negative thoughts, negative speech, and in turn, negative action. Now, no words are empty words, as every syllable we speak engage energy to words or against us. That's why chants, mantras, and affirmation have been around since human beings develop a system of speech. They were first used as a way of asking the universe for what we need to survive during a dry spell. We chanted to bring on rain, or when we harvest was poor, we affirm the new crops would soon grow. Repeated phrases were vital to the culture and tradition of tribes uh, all over the, the, the globe before modern societies were formed. Now, if we go back to Hinduism, to Buddhism, a mantra was a sacred uh, way of, um, like, a, like a spiritual force behind it. Uh, Buddhist chant during meditation and mantras are a key part uh, a ceremony, of a ceremony. Now, uh, music evolved from chanting, actually, which is why the verse and the chorus of a song are repeated several times. That's what, that's what repetition of those verses are, uh, are uh, uh, empowering the mind to the idea of the song. Affirmation can be thought of a form of prayer, except in the present time as if the things are, are praying uh, uh, um, for, uh, are almost like happening right now. Now, words are responsible for everything we hold to be true. But in our day, 
today life, we rarely recognize the magnitude of our words. I mean, let's, let's be honest. We tell ourselves things every day without paying attention to what we are affirming to be true. So out of habit, we might tell ourselves, oh, I'm so scared, oh, I'm so tired, I'm so desperate, I'm so stuck, I'm not good enough. Uh, but you don't realize that your words become the truth of your life. And you actually don't realize what you're doing to yourself. So a major step in changing your life is changing the way you relate to your problem by extending the way you speak about uh, about your problem. When problem comes up and and words you do use to describe, so you, what you what words do you describe your problem? So you're in a situation and you need to describe your problem. It's all about the way you use your words. So when you will continue to say things like, I'm not in control, I don't know what I'm doing, then you lose control over the situation. So you have to take control over the things that, that threaten to take control over you. So a way of doing this is actually by taking control over your words. Now, I remember that all my life, you know, I was... Um, trying to anticipate what's going to happen to me because I am a firm believer at my age and somehow, you know, since I was a child, I, I, I had a, a sense that um, I was knowing what's going to happen to me. And probably all of you and all of us, we know because we all are equipped with this ability of the brain that is called the intuitive mind. Now, the, the brain has many, many um, skills and abilities. The brain has uh, um, intelligence. The, the brain has memory. Uh, the, the brain has skills. And one of the skill of the brain is the intuitive mind, which what does it transcend, transcend the sensory level and transcend the physics. And the brain by doing that knows what's going to happen. So let's say you're in terrible pain, you went through an accident. By the brain knowing, uh, having the ability to know beyond the moment in time will reassure you that you will be fine and you're not going to die during that accident or you will survive the pain or you will survive the surgery. So you have a sense of knowing. So that sense of knowing is one of the ability of the brain. Now I go back to me and I tell you, I remember growing up in a small town somewhere in the middle of nowhere in a country called Romania in Europe, in Transylvania, actually a lot of people, I remember having seminars and talking about Transylvania and people were laughing because everybody heard about Dracula, uh, but uh, uh, a very tiny, tiny town, no running water, we had nothing, we were, I mean, I cannot describe how poor we were and um, the life we had at that moment in time. But I, I, I saw myself out of that particular moment in time, and I was telling my, my, my parents, I was a child that describing myself uh, like a famous singer. And my parents were laughing and said that I had like, such a great imagination. But when I turned 16, I actually had my first record deal and uh, uh, became so known and touring all over Europe. And this is the way I actually came to America as a singing sensation. And I had a concert in New York. And uh, so it's interesting how I was able as a child to project myself. Um, and and, and I'm, I'm like relating um, the power of the thinking, the power of the mind, the power of the words with, with the ability of believing in what I saw and affirming it and not being afraid to say what I saw and what I believe it. Uh, but again, if you want to talk to me about your own experiences in this life, you know, I want you to give me a call and call me at 202-570-7057. And I have a wonderful producer, Christopher, because this is a calling show, as you know, so I I love, I enjoy very much not to only speak to, to uh, um, a microphone, but to be able to communicate. I love communicating, talking about words and communication and talking about the power of the speech. 
it's extraordinary to be able to communicate. Uh, I recognize that affirmation release our needs into the universe. Um, and that uh, um, when we think something, we create an idea, but that thoughts are contained within our mind. It doesn't travel beyond our energy field. People often speak about, uh, we heard a lot about the law of attraction, which states that what you think you become, but the theory is incomplete. It's missing something essentially because only it's almost like it's one ingredient that is, that is not enough uh, to manifest reality. Visualization are also a great tool for expanding desires when you visualize and you see. That's also uh, 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 it, uh, not, not enough. So you have to blend all these tools, you know, to shift perception and to blend all of this with the power of affirmation and actions you have to take all these four elements of, 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 of life in order to change circumstances in the real world. So um, you have to create attraction, visualization, affirmation, actions in order to create that reality. Like you have to imagine a world in which no one, no one spoke. Uh, and we, we only think what we need to do. You can't tell your spouse that, that you need something or you can't tell your doctor what is hurting you. You can't tell your boss that you finish your work. You cannot, uh, you cannot exist without speech. Nothing could get done without communication. So similarly, the universe needs to hear what you want to accomplish. So that's why expressing yourself through the word is so significant. That's why you need to talk to me. You need to call. You need to say what is in your heart. You need to express yourself. Uh, a lot of us are not expressing, are, are holding on to those feelings inside and have a hard time to speak. You know, the, the phenomena that's happening in the world today, when people are starting, women are, are speaking out. We start to stand up. We start to raise our voices. We have something to say. That's such a powerful movement because we open up and the words have such power. I, when I was, I'm going, you know, uh, into politics a little bit, but I was like watching the March for Our Lives and I was looking at those kids, the way they speak, how powerful those words were. You know, you need to declare your hopes, your wishes, your goals, and you can manifest them the moment you have them within you. You can't become what you think unless you share your intentions with the others, with the universe. And this is the way you can accomplish you know, through the art of self-empowering speech. Uh, now, we already know that our words are extremely powerful tools. So that's why I said that tonight we will reinvent our reality according to, to this tremendous influence that the words have. Now, we speak to become. This is actually the theme of, uh, of my uh, um, uh, idea tonight. We, we speak to become. Before we get to to the whole idea of those extraordinary affirmations, I'm gonna, I created 35 affirmations that was shared. They had like hundreds of thousands of shares all over the internet because I published an article on Huffington Post. And those affirmations were shared everywhere. And uh, I was so happy about that. And I, I wanted to bring them on the radio also. But before I do that, I will explain you that the beginning was the sound. And I, will, I want to talk to you about the power of the sound because words are formed by sound. Each sound holds a resonance. Every first word of the Bible says that at the beginning was the word and the word was with God and God was the word. So according to the Bible, our world was created out of chaos, was created with the sound. It's interesting that 
the note that the Bible begin with only the mention of God and his word and out of the word a, a universe was formed and sounds are actually frequencies, invisible waves that travel through the air and carry energy. And it's fascinating that we are made of energy and awareness. This is what we made of. Even though we can see sound, they are so prevalent in our world. They can carry magical healing qualities. I mean, if you heard of Ayurveda, it's the science of life. You can heal through the techniques that include the sound therapy. Sound is able to break negative frequencies because you are surrounded by a biofield of energy. Around your physical body, there's a field of energy. And those frequencies, you know, the negative frequencies can shatter the biofield of energy. So how significant it is to use the power of the sounds to break those energies. Now, if you have any pain in your body, you can heal through the sound therapy. If you're working with your voice, you might be, uh, you know, uh, breaking negativity and get better. You on your own can heal. Let's see, when you wake up and practice your vocal and uh, uh, vowels and consonants, pay attention where the sound stops in your body. If you have a pain in your knee, if you have your pain in your voice, if you have an autoimmune disorder, if you have a headache, do the sound therapy and you will be amazed how the sound can stop somewhere where it hurts, where there's a deficiency in the body. So where there's a lack of frequency, that's where the problem. Now, I'm going to go to a break, and then I'm going to take Valerie. So hold on, Valerie. I'll be with you in a minute. Best of the holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Om Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, They aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Connect at ohmtimes.com. Ohm Times, creating a more conscious lifestyle. Hello, I'm Sandy Sedgbeer, host of Ohm Times Magazine's flagship radio show, What is Going On? My passion is sifting through information, research, and innovation from new thought pieces, speakers, and researchers, pushing back the boundaries of what we know about life, energy, metaphysics, and the universe. I love shifting perceptions about who we are, why we're here, and how quickly impossible becomes normal when we open our minds, expand our awareness, and accept that the only limits that exist are those we place upon ourselves. So if you're the kind of forward-thinking, eager investigator of what lies beyond the current reality that most perceive, why not make a date to come play with me in the field of possibilities at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time every Thursday, and together we can discover what's really going on. Melissa from Michigan. I work an extra part-time job serving lunch at my child's school, but I still can't afford to put food on our table. Daniel from California. Choosing whether to pay the rent or pay to fix the car to get to work doesn't leave us with much at all. Now we can't even pay for meals. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Hey, I'm Carmen Hara. I'm back. And uh, my wonderful Christopher is taking your calls, uh, 202-570-7057. And please feel free to call because it's all about talking. It's all about the power of the sound. It's all about communication. And as I was telling you, every letter of the alphabet carries a different frequency, a different vibration energy. This is why your name carries 
a certain truth about you. The energies associated, you know, with your name, with the sound of the name. It, it's so interesting. There are some dominance energy that exists in your name uh, that is different from any other name. Uh, that's why your name has a unique meaning because every sound holds a specific force. Um, so you need to know that every letter of the alphabet has is a frequency, every number has a frequency, and there's a link between uh, a musical note, a, a number, a letter of the alphabet. All these are, are melted into each other, and you have to know how to make the connection. And it's fascinating if you understand the meaning and if you use this meaning into your favor. And when you wake up in the morning, use the sound of your own voice to heal your own auric field, to heal your own pain, to heal your own energy. Uh, now, have you ever heard of the Hara therapy? I took the name Carmen Hara because I heard about the Hara therapy, but accidentally my grandmother was called Hara. So there was a coincidence. And then when I heard about the Hara therapy in Ayurveda, uh, I was so fascinating. So I had to take this name because the, the, um, it's, it's a, it's a, the, the solar plexus, where the center of the energy exists, is where you control, you know, the energy that exists within yourself. And this is the way Reiki technique was developed. In, in other words, um, I am a firm believer that if you use the Hara therapy, you can, you can get better. And I wanted to be a healer. I wanted to help people in, in, in my life and people around me and people who are coming in my life. And I wanted to help my listeners and everybody who's interested in learning about um, this type of, of, of work. And um, before I go any further, because I have so much to talk today, I'm so amazed by the power of the speech. I'm going to talk to Valerie in California. Hi, my lovely Valerie. Thank you so much for being part of my show. Being part of my show. Carmen, how are you? I am great, Valerie. Yeah. Um, you? I have, I'm good. Yeah. I'd like to ask you, I had applied for a job online. Online. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found out that that job was actually canceled. So I wasn't interviewed for it. But it was everything I wanted. It was three days a week, three consecutive days a week. So I'm wondering now if you see anything coming in that, you know, I would like that's part-time, three days a week. I want to tell you there's a name that comes to my me, me that, 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 that comes to my mind that seems like nobody will hire you. Uh, Danny, Daniel, uh, Daniela, something with a D initial, a very strong D name. I'm more tempted to believe he's a man than a woman. There is somebody who seems to me more bold uh, in his 40s. Um, I think you will get, you will be hired. I think, I don't want you to necessarily regret not getting this one because when something doesn't break through, there's something better. So you have to think probably there's something else yeah. better. Yeah. I expect something better coming to you by next Thursday. So, uh, uh I should say in, um, eight, nine, 10 days from now, there's something else coming. Try to look and try to pay attention to where you are guided. I always believe we are guided. There's like um, a higher uh, uh, force guiding us or our higher power of the mind is guiding us where to go, what to do, what to look for. So I am very confident that you will see what you need to see and you will um uh, 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 go there where you need to be because I am confident you will get exactly what you want, but even a little bit better, probably better paid, better environment, better circumstances. So I'm not at all worried, my love. So you will get what you want, 100%, my Valerie. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, because right. I, I wasn't disappointed with the last one. I just, I felt like you did, that maybe it was something better coming. Four right. Months. There's there's always something better. And because we were talking about we can't afford to say something negative because we bring those frequencies oh, yeah. uh, and we get stuck in them and then we turn around in circles and we don't know why things are not good anymore. So you have to continue to tell yourself that, yes, this is coming, this is coming, 
and look for it, you know, and use your own uh, words to affirm it every single day and say, I am uh, in control. I'm getting it right away. I know what I'm doing. I deserve it. I'm powerful, you know, and it's coming to me. So keep on saying that to yourself, like repeat this every day. And do you see that it's going to be um, not a very long commute? No, not at all. It's not hard. It's not a long commute. So pretty much it fits what you want. That's what I like. It's, um, okay. it's up to what you need and it's up to what you want. It's almost like it's designed to your needs. Okay. That's what makes me happy. It's it's exactly for you the way you want it. Okay. okay. And because um, I work yeah. in the medical medical field, and I'm wondering if it will I be working with the adult population or the pediatric population? Uh, I think it's adult population. Okay. okay. I think it's adult population, and I, and I think, uh, but it's um. It's a very good environment. I keep on seeing this man. I think that this is the man that's going to be either the doctor in charge or somebody who you will um, work with directly. Uh, as I'm picturing somebody very clearly that you will be working with. Okay. But it's somebody nice because it's very important to work with wonderful people. Oh, people yeah. who you will get along. People who, yeah, people who will treat you nice. People who will be... Caring, loving, sweet, yes. Mm -hmm. This oh, is really okay. good. Oh, this I'm not. Great. I'm not at all worried. I, 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 I'm just. I'm reassuring. I'm empowering you. You know, the brain needs to constantly be rewired in the right direction. Uh, and no, no negativity, no impurities, no um, bad frequencies. Only the only only the good stuff. The good stuff needs to get into your mind. So, right, um, right. absolutely, I see it happening. I clearly see it happening. I see a, a place that is uh, like sixth floor. Um, I see something that is very neat with a big parking lot, not far away from your home. Uh, I have a sense of the, I also see a younger woman around you that you'll be working with that's very funny and sweet. Uh, I see that, you know, when I, my mind goes like a remote viewing and I see details of the environment, the places, the where you'll be going. I see it has a very nice place where you'll be eating when you go there. It's going to be fun. You'll have fun. Oh, it's not, yeah, you know, it's, it, it's so positive to go to a place to work that is also fun. And it's not heavy. It's not only stressful and and it has a lot right. to do with the people you'll be dealing with. So you will be dealing with nice people. And Karma will, will it be a bit, will they give benefits in this part time position? Yes. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Feel free oh, to let great. me know. Let me know. You will, you will probably, yeah, probably in like in two weeks, you will give me some good news because it's right around the corner. I also great. see a G, G thing. I don't know what the G, because I, I picked up, in order to guide you, initials, number, timing, so that's um, relevant, so that your mind uh, looks for that. Uh, so look for the G, G, or the G name means. Um, it can relate to a person. It can re relate to the, to the name of the place. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I am very confident that this is right around the corner. And then you are, it, it's a, you are, you'll be happy with the overall experience. Uh, the, I'm looking at the details of it and I said, yeah, this is going to make you really happy. Oh, well, good. Because I'm going to a, <laughs> um, a work-related seminar this week, so I'm hoping to make some mm -hmm. contacts there. <laughs> you are, you are. Nice people. Okay. You are yeah. very, very nice inside, so you bring a lot of good to you. You, 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 people are drawn to you because you're very good inside. You have you're such a lovely soul, so you attract wonderful people in your life constantly. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, my Valerie. Okay. Thank you so I'll much for being part weeks. of my show. I'm looking okay, forward, so. my love. Thank you so much for <laughs> okay, being part of my show. You. Love you, my sweetheart. Okay.
Love you too. Okay, love. Thank you. So we were talking about positive affirmation that can actually reduce stress. And, um, you know, from, um, you know, what stress can does to your body from headaches and heart disease and heart blood pressure. So uh, it makes a lot of sense to try to, to reduce this amount of stress. So many people find that um, positive affirmation, you know, reduce and release uh, 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 stressful. Um, because when you speak, you know, in a natural, in a natural way, you release emotion that are, that are trapped inside you. And when, when you trap the emotion inside, is then when the body gets affected. It's all the emotional system that's hurting the physical body. So when you let out your thoughts, your words affect not just you, but the, your entire universe. So what, what you speak travels through all the ways of the universe and causes like a small ripple in the possibilities of the future. So when you say things like, I can, it won't happen, uh, you're actually applying limitation to the potential. So that, that little ripple travels through the universe and meets a dead end. So in comparison, when you say, I can and I will and I'll make it happen, you're actually applying that hope. So hope forge a clear path ahead. So um, I, I want you to think a little bit about this. And if you have uh, things to ask me, because this is a calling show, feel free to call uh, 202-570-7057. And Christopher is here. And we can talk because today it's all about the power of the speech. Now, have you ever noticed that people who are positive are always more successful in life? Have you ever noticed that? That's because people who express negativity deplete their energy and deprive themselves of motivation. Those who express positively and declare their intention with hope find new reasons to continue moving forward uh, and, and towards their goals. I will never forget, I want to share this with you, a story that is kind of um, painful to remember, but I, I want to share it with you. My, my late husband was diagnosed with lung cancer, and uh, the doctor told him um, he has like three weeks to live. And uh, you know when a doctor says to you something like this? It's almost like he's crucifying you. It's almost like the power of the words that are so dark and negative you know it's like it's it's writing your your uh, sentence and i will never forget my, my husband took the doctor's hand and said i'm not dying anytime soon you know doctor you are wrong and fair enough my husband lived a number of years and the doctor was wrong but my um statement today is don't allow anybody don't allow anyone to make a negative predictions for you because of the power of the words. Uh, words can be so damaging to a person if they are misused because physical scars close and fade over time, but emotional ones and verbal abuse never heal and never disappear so easily. They remain like an open wound inside that person. So never allow anybody to use harsh words against you. So stop them in their tracks. Don't ever let them finish their sentence when they start with something negative. So be always confident in your life. So always say, is that really true? Am I really that way? For example, if a mother tells a daughter, you'll never get married. You're not good for a man. You will, you know, that that's terrible. So uh, that will affect that girl's future. So bad words store in our memory. I like door stops. They will never allow a door to close completely. You may or may not remember when you are told, I love you, or you are smart, but you'll always remember when you are told, I hate you, or you are stupid. So think a little bit again, again, uh, the power of the negativity. So um, I 
think I have somebody, um, Julia, and I have Buffy from Florida, um, and also have a minute and something to the break. So I want both of you to hold on and we'll go to your questions and think of your questions because we have uh, an entire segment, so we have plenty of time to speak. Uh, but again, reality reflects what the mind projects. When your mind projects, what your mind projects translate into your words, and your words are what you put into the universe. So your words are like seeds that you plant into the earth, and they are waiting to come to life, to grow and come to to fruition. So be careful of your words you plant into the earth because you cannot take them back. When they spoken, your words will remain eternally within the energy of the universe. Our words can either be vehicle of joy or vessel of pain. So choose your words wisely. So I think I'm going to go to a break <clears throat> in a minute and then we'll take your calls. of holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Ascending Hearts is no ordinary dating site, but a spiritual dating site with a purpose, to link you with your soulmate. We engineer the serendipity so you can trust that you will attune with someone that has the same matching vibration as you. Ascending Hearts, the conscious dating site for the spiritually aware. Try Ascending Hearts for free ascendinghearts.com Hello, I'm Lisa Berry. Join me every Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time for Light on Living. A chance to see new, hear different, and feel more as I shine the spotlight on all the ways to lighten the load of life's challenges. Light on Living is your link to that new way you're looking for, that new understanding that will enhance your life, and that positive connection that will support your growth. So join me and you'll gain insight and start to see things in a new way that motivates you. I'm Fidel Nshombo. I was born in a city called the Bukavu in the Congo. We were a loving family and then boom, everything that I had disappeared in a single day. People think that when you are a refugee and they resettle you to America and all your problems are done. They don't understand that that's the beginning of everything. I was not born a refugee. I was made one. It's time we welcome refugee families with open arms. Learn more at EmbraceRefugees.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council. I'm Carmen Hara. I'm back on Home Time Radio. So excited. So excited for the communication from the power of the words. And I'm going to talk to Julia from Florida. Hi, my lovely Julia. How are you, my dear? Hi, Carmen. Great to talk to you. Oh, my gosh. Super excited to talk to you. So what do you think of the topic? <laughs> oh, it's so true. It's so powerful. I feel like it's like I can be loving to my family and my friends, but I'm so hard. It's like my internal dialogue. I'm like, you know, if, if you said those things out loud to somebody else, they would look at you like you lost your mind, but I can say them to myself and, you know, beat myself up about all the things that I feel like I'm not enough or my shortcomings. I just, mm -hmm. so yeah, it isn't even, it doesn't have to come from somebody else. It comes from me. You know? so, so. Well, whenever, whenever we have that within ourselves, you know, whenever we tough on ourselves, whenever we, we are hard on ourselves, there is a pain there that exists from somewhere that has been, that we carry for a long time. You have to go deeper there and you have to take it out, you know, you have to do that 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 spiritual surgery to eliminate because that that stays with you. It's not going to allow you to go where you want to go. It's not going to allow you to fly. It's like a burden, you know. That that's, that it, it, that it's going to hold you down. It, it's so hard to explain what a negative impact 
a, a bad word said to you when you were a child or an abuse by somebody that you loved uh, can can do to you long terms. So you have to figure it out. Where is this coming from? And when you do, you have a chance of working things out. So what is yeah, your right. question to me? Yeah. So if you think of how can I, do you have like a specific things you want to ask me? Yeah, um, well, what it is is since my divorce, I've been staying with my mom, but I, mm -hmm. I've been wanting to move, but my mother is having some health stuff, and so I feel conflicted because on one hand, I want to stay to help her, but I, I have like this fear that I'm going to be stuck, you know, and not be able to move forward with my own life. I think so you need to move forward to your own life and help your mother in the same time. So try to do both. That would be my psychological advice. Because the, the, the problem is if you are um, spending too much time with your mother, you get into that, that uh, sort of a comfort zone and you're going to think that's the way it should be. And as the time goes by, you know, you will give up on, on you without even realizing and I don't want you to do that. I want you to rebuild your life because you have a, a new chapter in the book of your life that you need to take care of. And I don't want you to become demoralized, especially if you take care of somebody who's getting older and starts to have health problems. That takes away your energy. So it depletes your energy. And you start to feel drained. Yeah. So you yeah, have to dissociate these two things so you build your own energy up so you can indirectly, you will be able to help your mother better by taking better of your own self. Because I feel like you neglect you by trying to help her. So you're doing a big disservice to both of you. So I want you to say, I'm going to take care of me. I'm going to prioritize me so I can help her better. So I kind of don't want you to, it's, I don't know if you can do this, but I know you can and I know you will. And I know you will be independent and, and then separate uh, as much as she wants to be with you because she's needy of you, you know. Most likely because she's, she's not well. But I feel I hate to say that I, in the case of your mother intuitively, I think it's a lot having to do with something mental and emotional and not only physical. Do you see that? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's, yeah. 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 So I feel like it, like your mother is, is uh, probably battling a form of depression right now. And the danger is that you can uh, be uh, stuck into that too. And I don't want that to happen to you. And plus, I can promise you that there's somebody new coming into your life that is around two years older than you. And I want you to go for that relationship because that's going to bring a lot of good to you. A lot of excitement. Uh, it's something that's going to motivate you. I want you to go for that. Thank you. Please, please. And I love okay. you, Julia. And you're, feel you're free. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Thank you so feel much. Feel free to, I, to keep me in me touch, up. please. I, I, I love you and I want to be in touch with you and I want to help you. I want you to call me in two, three weeks and let me know where you are. I see you in a new place and I see you with this new person. And your mother will get better, I promise you. Okay, okay, my Julia. I love Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much, Carmen. God bless you. <laughs> okay, love you too, you Thank too you. my love. I'm going to go to Buffy. Hi, Buffy, my dear. Hi, Carmen. How are you? Good. Excited to talk to you. I know it's been a while, actually, since i seen you in person. Um, I'm actually one of your clients. So it's been a while. Good. Yeah, so today I saw, you know, that you were having your radio show i'm like oh my god i need to call in <laughs> okay I, good that's not me exciting. yes tell yes, me yes, yes. okay I so what's to, the question to, about you my love the question is mm -hmm. about love my life partner um 
if you can see anyone coming into my life anytime soon, yes. Yes. Um, I kind of like hesitate, you know, and, you know, with my discernment of, you know, who I shall let close to me. So I, do you, do I you really don't know. Do you think you are blocking it a little bit because I feel like you might not allow it to happen? Uh, you're very selective, which I completely understand, and you deserve the best. I see a man who travels, who comes into your life, is very attractive, but he was married before. I don't think that should be a problem. Um, he's very business-like, but very charming. Um, he will treat you very, very nice. Uh, um, but this is somebody who travels for business. He's tall, um, brown hair, um, very charismatic, right around your age. Um, he would like to take you places because that's what he likes to do. Uh, but uh, I, I like I like the way he's gonna try to to handle you and and the way uh, you will feel the connection. This man is coming into your life relatively soon, probably in a month or two. I want you to keep me posted about this. I think by June, uh, July, you will tell me much more about this this person. Actually, I feel you will be in love. This is mm -hmm. someone who's going to make you love again, which is something you're missing for a while. You wanted this feeling. You wanted to feel again, loved and being loved. Mm -hmm. It's happening. Exactly. I feel an, 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 a name with an R, an R and a J. There's two initials that come to me. In, and I see you traveling a lot with this man because this man likes to go places. And is somebody who the moment you meet him, he will probably invite you to go with him. He might even have two residences. And the beauty of this, that this is not something that is stagnant. It's somebody who likes to move around and he's such a, he has such a charisma about him. He's a fascinating person. It's probably one of the best person you've ever met in terms of a, a love relationship. So it's really, get, get excited. Please get excited. Okay, I will. <laughs> I will. I am actually, I'm excited. I'm Good. excited. I'm excited. Perfect. I'm excited. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so, so much, keep me Keep me posted, my love. And, and call me like in a month or two, the moment you know this, call me, call me, call me and let me know because I want to celebrate it with you. Okay, okay my definitely. love. Definitely. Thank you, Carmen. Okay, my sir. Thank you, Siri. I'm going to go to Tina. Everybody's in Florida right now. Hi, Tina. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, Carmen. Hi, my Tina. How are you, my love? Carmen. Hi, can you hear me, Tina? Yes, I can hear you now. Good, good, good. So, how are you well, doing, my angel? I am doing well. I'm also one of your clients. I haven't seen you. Oh, in a good. Very, very well, you can, you guys come and see me. <laughs> yes, we will for sure, for sure. Um, my question is, um, and it's really in between the two. I'm trying to go back to work. And mm -hmm. I want to, I have a job offer and I, I, you know, I don't, I'm stuck between should I start a business or should I start working and then branch off and I'll start my own business. Um, I would go more towards your own business. That's what the, my mind is telling me right mm -hmm. now. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I don't, if you go towards your own business, it might not be tomorrow. It might take a little bit of time. I think if you mm -hmm. start uh, structuring, organizing, putting things together, it might take another month or two or three. But mm -hmm. long terms, you better uh, on your own with your own business than working for somebody else. I feel if okay. you start working for somebody else, it's going to be for a while, and then you will go back to square one and start working mm -hmm. for somebody else. And five years later, you're going to say, well, I had a chance to be my own boss, but then I didn't do it when I had the chance. So consider mm -hmm. very seriously build. You have the potential. You have what it takes. Mm -hmm. You have uh, brilliant ideas. You have the, 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 the power of the mind. You have the knowledge. You have it all to build something. You have the creativity. You have it. You mm -hmm. have it. You know how to do it. 
So tell yourself every single day, you know, I'm the architect of my business. I'm going to build it. I'm going to go public. I'm going to make it on the top of the line. I'm going to put it everywhere. I'm going to make it uh, big. And that's going to bring me all the recognition, all the money that I want. And and Mm -hmm. that's when I'm going to really flourish. This is the way to do it. Okay. In your case, okay. in your particular case, you have that mm-hmm. drive in you. You have that force mm-hmm. within you. That's why I push you because I feel it. And you know I'm right. Yes. So just yes. do it. All it takes is your own decision to do it. Okay, okay, okay. And it won't interfere, like, with, I guess, no. my personal life? No. Like, no, no, on the contrary. On the contrary, No. Okay. 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 And so that, All right, so the my job love. offer that the job offer that I have coming, like I, I can just, the, you know, decline. I mean, if you if you take that job offer that you have, would be a job offer that is not a bad job jo- offer. Don't don't get me wrong. It's for now. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. It's gonna be for a while, but it's gonna. Deep, or, or if you can do somehow take the job and build something on the side because right. you can sometimes you can build your own business on the side and do it in weekend mm-hmm. till you feel like I build my business to the roof then I can drop the job you can right. you can go that way too that's another okay. option to feel safe if you want to mm-hmm. feel safe then take this job for now and work because to build your own business will take a while so take mm-hmm. advantage of this opportunity because it's going to be for a while. This job is not going to be for a long period of time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Carmen. I appreciate you Okay, my you love. Much. I love you, All my right. Tina. I love you, Bye, too. sweetheart. Take care. You Bye. too, sweetie. I need to go to Carol from New Jersey. Hi, my lovely Carol. How are you, my dear? Hi, Carmen. Oh, well, I'm so glad to be on the call tonight. Oh, my God. I love you, my angel. How are you, sweetheart? <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing well. I'm feeling um, like I'm I'm just feeling like I'm stuck. I have the answer. No, no, no. What are, what are we what are we what are we saying? We are not stuck. What are we saying? We are we are powerful. We, what yes, what we are the are, words are. that we are we are using tonight? We are paying attention are to the power of the of the words, and I want you to repeat after after you know I am more powerful than my pain. I am in love am with more. who I am becoming. I, I am in control of my I life. Coming. I am in control of my life. I am control of my life. I am worthy. I am worthy. I am healthy. I am stable. I am sound. I am. I am happy. I am stable. I am sound. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. <laughs> I am superior yes, yes. to any negativity. I am talented. I am talented. I am I am joyful. extremely successful. I am happy. I am healed. I am loved. I am fearless. I am alive. I am bold. I am evolving. I am in tune with the universe. I am proud of myself. Oh, I am so proud of myself. I am all knowing. I am all knowing. I am reborn. I am reborn. I am free. I am free. I am free. I am vibrant. I am vibrant. I am my own best friend. I am my own best friend. Yes. I am protected. I am protected. I am magic. I am magic. I am at peace. I am at peace. I am at peace. I am detaching from negativity. 
I am detaching from negativity. I am the architect of my life. I am the architect of my life. How do you feel? I feel beautiful. I feel powerful. Good. You see, amazing. Oh, thank you. You are amazing. I adore you. I am grateful. <laughs> oh, I am grateful too. I am grateful to my angel. Thank you so much for calling me. So listen, Thank repeat you. this every single day, every single day, no other words. So I'm coming okay. to the end of the show, my angel, and everybody who called me tonight, I'm so very grateful. I'm Carmen Hara on Om Time Radio, and um, we're going to meet next okay. Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Same time, same place, Om Time Radio. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, remember, words have power and use the best words for your own benefit. And uh, I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Bye, my angel. <laughs>